Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranak Heart, West Bengal, India. This is a heart cataract, nuclear sclerosis is in grade 4, but you can see a very good red glow because of the stereocoaxial elimination of Lumera T or Lumera I microscope. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a totally unedited surgery and you are not going to miss anything. S a bit of adrenaline has been injected and now the antechamber is filled up with 2% SPMC. I am not going to stain the anterior capsule though the cataract is hard. This um, some brown hard cataracts we get very good red glow, particularly in grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. So, I am not going to stain the capsule and see the beautiful red glow. Uh, side port has been made uh, about 3 clock hours away from the main wound on the left side and now uh, iterator forceps is being used to do the access. And uh, as I go uh, to about 7 o'clock, I find that the rexis is going to be small. So, I deliberately make the uh, rexis large by going to a bit more periphery and making the rexis a bit eccentric. I did it deliberately because the cataract is hard and I need to do a large rexis. You can see a very good a uh, fluid wave during hydrodissection, the nucleus is tapped, the fluid comes along the equator anteriorly and the hydrodissection becomes complete. Some more visco to fill up the anterior chamber and now I am going to expose the tip a bit more so that I can deliver more ultrasonic energy. And now watch my technique the submarine chop technique. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned, the nucleus is rotated, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. I take help of my left hand to make the bevel up and to make the tubes, irrigation aspiration tubes straight. And now see the submarine chop technique. The tip is buried completely into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine moves under water and the chopper is used to make a very good crack. I rotate the nucleus 180 degree, make a scarved hole on the hemineucleus and separate the other completely. Now we have got two free heminuclei. One heminucleus is then subdivided into two free fragments. Then I rotate, come to the other heminucleus, attack the belly of this heminucleus, go through the substance, and this is the complete division of the nucleus into four large fragments. Artesanic energy from the very beginning is 85 percent, flow rate is 40 and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. And now the nuclear pieces are being emulsified. We must deliver the ultrasonic energy judiciously. Whenever the hard nuclear matter is there, uh, we must deliver a little more ultrasonic energy. When the matter in front is soft, epinucleus, we have to deliver very little energy and this energy delivery is controlled by the foot switch. So, we have to train our foot nicely to deliver adequate amount of ultrasonic energy. And now, in this case, I did not want to remove the cortex by the handpiece itself, I come out and use a very safe instrument, a Simco cannula. First, I fill up the SE and the bag with Simco with viscoelastic substance and now the Simco is introduced through the main wound and uh, cortical matter from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock has been removed and cortical matter from 1 o'clock also has been removed 
And now I go through the sideboard, remove the cortex from 12 o'clock to 10 o'clock and then from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock. The cortical matter is nicely removed and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I take the irrigation probe of bimanual irrigation cannula of bimanual irrigation aspiration set and by the irrigation itself I can polish the posterior capsule. So you can call it irrigation polish. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. The irrigating probe is introduced and it keeps the antechamber formed and the lens is injected. The irrigating probe, irrigating cannula supports the anterior surface of the lens as it comes out of the cartridge and then the left hand instrument is used to place the trailing haptic in the back. The irrigating cannula itself is used to dial the lens and the lens is now nicely placed. As I have told the uh, the rexis is not central, it is eccentric. This is because initially the movement was such that the rexis would have been very small if I had not gone to periphery uh, uh, towards the 5 o'clock. And see this. I have gone behind the lens and irrigating the behind the lens. This is if any visco remains behind the lens, it will be removed. And now uh, the antechamber is nicely formed, few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please learn the submarine chop technique to manage heart cataracts. You deliver all the ultrasonic energy within the substance of the nucleus and the cornea is crystal clear next day.